everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet, and in honor of Valentine's Day coming up very soon, I wanted to do a video about my top favorite kiss-proof lipsticks. I've actually been researching this, I would say, for the last year and a half. That's how long I've been with my boyfriend. Uh, because I really got into wearing uh, red lips or doing like a hot pink or like a really dramatic lip. And I'd been single for so long that it really didn't matter if my lipstick was kiss proof or not because, well, I wasn't kissing anyone. So then I met my boyfriend and I was like, you know what, I want to kiss on him, so I'm going to need lipstick that lasts all day. Plus, I've actually just become addicted to wearing kiss proof lipsticks, like even when I'm not around my boyfriend. I used to put on lipstick in the morning and then before I even left the house, like it would be faded and I just don't have the patience to constantly be reapplying lipstick all the time. So I did some research. I actually made this very scientific. I put all of the lipsticks on my arm and I judged them by their pigment. Then I tried smudging them with like a tissue and a paper towel and stuff to see which one just smudged off. And then I tried rinsing them under water, I tried rinsing them with soap and water, and then I tried rinsing them with like an oil makeup remover to see which ones really lasted the longest. So my first one is actually an honorable mention. Um, I want to throw it in. It's actually not even promoted as being a kiss-proof lipstick as far as I can tell. It's just Sephora's Cream Lip Stain. And I heard about this, I heard it was really long-lasting, I heard it passed the food test, so I was like, I'll give it a try. If you like a matte lip, it's very matte. It doesn't come with any kind of gloss. It goes on like a gloss, but it's a very matte lip. But it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the lips. And it did last quite a while. It didn't make it to the very end of the testing like some of the other lipsticks, um, which is why it's only an honorable mention. And it did kind of start to like pill a little bit. Um, so I wouldn't say this was like super long lasting and durable, but the pigment was amazing. But this is like their, their red red, like they're true red. Uh, the color's gorgeous, so if you like a matte lip and you don't need something that is like makeout proof, but you just want something that will uh, last a little bit longer than a regular lipstick, I would definitely recommend this. It's pretty affordable too, so Sephora Cream Lip Stain, I would give it that a try. Now to get into my top five. This is Rimmel London Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. This color is actually in Kiss Me You Fool, which is a beautiful color. I love the packaging. I love it. It's got the cute little lips on it. How cute is that? This actually did last through my entire test. It did fade, I think, a little bit more than some of the other ones that I tested, but not dramatically. I did really like this. The reason why I'm ranking this the lowest is for me personally, this is really hard to find in the United States. I actually had to order it from... I got it on Amazon, but like they had to ship it from London because I think it's available in London. I'm hoping that they'll make it more readily available in the United States, but if you're in the US, these are kind of hard to get your hands on. So that's the main reason why I ranked it lower on my list than some of the others, but it was an excellent long-lasting lip color. The next lip color I have is L'Oreal Infallible Lip Color, and this is actually, it's like a two-pack thing here. You can actually, I don't know if you can take these all the way out. I think you just like pop this up. I get. I don't want to break it. Um, you pop this up and you get your lip color in here. You apply it. It's a two step. I really like two steps when it comes to long lasting lip color because I like the first step, which is the color that dries on and really stays put, and then you get like a you know a, something like a shine product that goes over it that sort of softens the lips and that you can keep reapplying. And I've tried, I tried some that were just the one step, kind of like the cream lip stain, and I, I feel like they're just too drying. So I really like the two step. This one has the two step in the same pack, which this side is actually the bomb that you can put on. This color is Garnet. It was sort of a soft frosty pink. Um, pretty color. The pigment was great. Um, it lasted through the whole test. Like, I really had to try to get this off with oily makeup remover. So this stuff definitely lasts. I'm ranking it a little bit lower on my list because I don't like the packaging. I, and this is just personal preference. Maybe you'd love it. But I feel like it's an awkward shape, the fact that you're, like, popping up the colors here and popping them down. I mean, maybe for you, you might like the, you know, compactness of it. Personally, I'm just not a big fan of the packaging, but I will say that the the pigment itself and the lipstick was excellent. Number three on my list is the CoverGirl, and I don't know if they have the 
actual name for it. I don't have the name off the top of my head what the CoverGirl um, Long Last, but this is like their, I think it's Outlast, CoverGirl Outlast lip color. This is again a two-step and these are, they're separate. They don't come together, so in the at the end of the day, like you can always replace the balm. I think you can buy the balm like on its own. So you get you get in a package, you get the color which dries on, and then you get the balm separately. I think it's kind of nice because I like to throw an extra one of the balms in my purse, and I think most of the balms that like of the lip colors that come with a balm and not a gloss, most of them are the same. I would say so you know I just use this as a regular lip balm or I just use this on you know any of my other long-lasting lip colors it's kind of nice to have because you don't really need to carry around the like the actual long-lasting lip color because this you don't have to reapply so it's kind of nice having separate but also they can get separated and you can have one but not the other and when you need one, you might not have the other. Um, I will say the pigmentation was great. It did fade a little bit in the process, um, but not significantly. It passed the smudge test and it passed the uh, water and soap and water test excellently. So, I mean, it did last, but I do think it faded a little bit and the pigment is not as good as some of the other long lasting lip colors. But again, good quality. Uh, I got this one actually because I wanted to try this color. They don't actually mark the color, they just have the number on it. But this was a red and I wanted to give this color a try. Next we're going to go with one that's a little bit more pricey. Actually, well the Sephora one that was the honorable mention is obviously something you get at Sephora, but it's a very affordable. Um, all the other colors I've had are all drugstore colors. This one is actually the only like real pricey one. I don't actually have the price on me, but this is sort of like the the more um, professional line, the non-drugstore product line. Um, this is Makeup Forever's Aqua Rouge. The pigment is hardcore. I mean, if you want pigment, this is going to give you pigment. Like, if you really want something bold. I really want to try this in Iconic Red. Like, I'm desperate to try that because I feel like that's going to be such a cool shade and I've heard so many things about it. Uh, but it has been, like, unavailable for purchase like out of stock at Sephora for like forever and I'm like desperately waiting for them to tell me it's come in so I can try it. So again, great pigment. This lasted a long time. It passed the whole test. Like it lasted through um, smudging, water, soap, and it came off with the oily makeup remover, but I really had to try. But it's not my number one because it comes with a gloss and I much prefer balms to glosses. Although I will admit this isn't like a sticky gloss it is it's very smooth and but I just prefer the balms you could use a balm over it you're probably not supposed to but I do sometimes it does have a more limited color range but they're great colors like the colors they have are great um, it was actually one of the only lines originally I originally bought it because it's one of the few that actually will give you I don't want to say matte because you do put a gloss over it but you can pick colors that don't have shimmer a lot of the other Kiss Proof lipsticks all have shimmer, probably to counteract the fact that they can look a little drying. And I love shimmer, don't get me wrong, like I'm a shimmer girl, but every once in a while you want more of like a matte finish that doesn't have a shimmer, and I like that Makeup Forever kind of gives you that option. So again, if you want a highly pigmented lip color that's going to last a long time, again, and you don't want like a huge variety of colors, you just want like your good, like your hot pink, they have an orange which orange is very hard to find in a Kiss Proof lipstick, let me tell you. And if you like gloss, then I would say this is the one for you. It is going to cost you a little bit more money, but I definitely think it's worth it. Now for my number one. Dun, da, da. I don't have any drum roll, but I don't even know how to do a drum roll. I don't even know if you can hear that. I'm trying to do a drum roll with my lipstick here, and I'm going to reveal. This is the big reveal. My absolute favorite, and you probably, if you've seen my videos before, may not be surprised because I've mentioned this in like every makeup tutorial that I've done because I always use this. It is Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Lip Color. I got the name right. I called it Superstay, not Superstay. Did I just call it, say it wrong? I don't know. It's it's a tongue twister, but I love it. And while your tongue is twisting, your lipstick will stay on. I absolutely love this lip color. It's the best. I mean, it's, again, it's dual-ended, which I love. It's a bomb 
on the end, which I love. Only thing I would say might be a drawback is that the cap on the balm does not like to stay closed. So sometimes if it gets tossed around in your purse, you can find out that the balm has come undone. Um, which is one of the reasons why I kind of like to throw my CoverGirl balm because to be honest, it's a balm. It's probably the same formula. I wouldn't be surprised at all if it wasn't really the same thing. A balm is a balm, right? So um, I kind of like to throw my CoverGirl one in and just use that for touch-ups. But I love this. It comes in a great variety of colors. I have most of them. This is Timeless Rose, which is an amazing everyday color. I would wear, I wear this like if I'm just running to the store. Like it's my favorite everyday color. I feel like this is a very, for me, it's like a My Lips Only Better kind of a, a look to it. I, I'm wearing, I think right now I'm wearing, I think it's All Day Cherry. Yeah, All Day Cherry right now on my lips. Um, I have it in a bunch of other colors. I will say the majority of them all are a shimmer shade. So if you don't want a shimmer, it's very hard to find. I have one, I don't remember the name of it, that is kind of like a blue red that doesn't have much shimmer in it, which I really like. This lasts forever and it's so funny because every time I wear like a bold lipstick and my boyfriend kisses me and realizes that my lipstick is still on me and not on him, he's always like, maybe it's Maybelline because he knows that this is like my go-to. This to me is the holy grail. It's affordable. You can get it right in your drugstore and this is my, I would say, holy grail long-lasting lip color. So that was my list. If you have a favorite Kiss Proof lip color that I have not mentioned, or if you like or don't like any of the ones that I've mentioned, um, or you want to know more about some of the ones that I tried that like did not make the list, um, please let me know. Uh, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page, and make sure you check out everydaystarlet.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time, and have a wonderful and fabulous and romantic kissable Valentine's Day. Thanks so much.